So I'm gonna do some salt bush harvesting and cooking. There's not many instructions out there on how to use this plant, so uh, let's make one. This is my salt bush, it's been growing here for a couple of years. I pick it occasionally for salads or herbs. Um, and today I'm going to a gathering, so I'm gonna make some little, um, little hors d'oeuvres with the salt bush. So we'll pick off a few pieces. Picking off these ones to give my Fagoa in the background a bit more sun. Uh, that might be enough. And so here's um, one idea I'm going to do with it. So pick off a whole branch, just hang it in the sun to dry. Um, we've got a few hot days coming up, so it should dry in a few days. Make a herb out of it. That'll be one of the plans. So with the dried um, salt bush, so after you've let that dry in the sun, when they get a bit crispy like this, so we want them to sort of be able to flake and make sure you can feel no moisture left in there. Um, just pop them in a bowl and crisp it up. So become four small little flakes. You don't want to crisp it up too much so it's powdery. Just wants it like it's, um, you know, a store-bought rosemary or something, dried rosemary or something like that. And it has this really interesting flavour or smell to it. It kind of reminds me of so we've got a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of truffle, a little bit of, um, hard to explain, I almost see them, like a fishy kind of smell as well, which is interesting. So that's what we're looking for in the end. Just these flakes of dried salt bush. You can sprinkle that on meat or chicken, use it as, as a herb. You can mix it with um, salt, you can mix it with parmesan um, or other herbs as well. And so you can pop that in a jar and give it to a mate for Christmas or something. And these jars of dried salt bush, I see them at the farmer's markets for about $10, $15. So um, they're that easy and that cheap to make. Give it a go. Now recipe number two, this is with the fresh salt bush, so I have washed this just in case there's any insect lava or anything on it. What I've got here, I've got some cream cheese and some feta, you don't need both, you could use one or the other. And this is optional, I've also got um, chopped tomato and chopped smoked salmon there. You can add dill or chives or anything else to that. You could use other cured meats instead of the smoked salmon. So the basic method of this, I'm just going to make one with only feta. Just pop it in. You roll it up. Now you're done. A little feta treat. But let's get a bit more expansive. Um, I'll use the smoked salmon, so I'll do a whole bunch without smoked salmon for the vegetarians. Then I'll use the smoked salmon last because <clears throat> that flavour will just go through everything. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a mix for these ones. So a bit of cream cheese, a bit of feta, and a bit of tomato. Probably could have chopped that tomato a bit better. And wrap it up. That looks a bit better. Nice like a dolmati. There we go. Should probably better wrap the other way. Yeah, they do wrap better the other way, so try not to wrap the stem then. So I'll just keep it open. And just keep going until you've used the lot. I'll make one with um, smoked salmon now. Well, let's make some, I might just use a cream cheese for that one. There we 
go. I should have time lapsed the whole video, but I didn't film. Anyway, this is the end result. Um, actually, I thought in the end, they're better if you don't wrap them up. You can just leave them flat. That's nice though, actually. So yeah, maybe leave them flat if you think it's more appropriate. There you go. It's a good accompaniment for a barbecue or, you know, as a side dish or something like that. Um, I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe if you want more um, recipes like this. I could talk all walks of the places and all of the things.